support that. We haven't practiced this, by the way. <laughs> this is never as graceful as you want it to be. Um, I am seeing so many cool things here. Uh, you're working on something really awesome for the Ken Island Beach cleanups. Mm -hmm. Kristen was looking for an artist to do this project this year uh, with the beach debris that they clean up on Ken Island. I'm actually working really closely with Lucy Cruz, who is our artist, who is creating um, our Many Hands of the Chesapeake sculpture, and it's entirely created out of beach plastic that we've collected. So we applied for a, a, a grant from the Chesapeake Bay Trust, and we were awarded a mini grant from their mini grant program. This particular grant is designed to engage Maryland residents in activities that enhance communities, engage residents, and improve our natural resources. Board member Tracy Wilson suggested we create a sculpture from trash. And um, then we got started. And the cool thing is, is I had to uh, think this through because I've never done a debris sculpture before. I've done metal sculptures, but nothing with debris. It's so crazy to hear her talk about it sometimes. She, she just like puts together these pieces of trash into things that you wouldn't expect her to put them into. And it, and it looks so good. I kind of saw the base of it and I thought it was really cool and I saw like, and she explained to me her plan and what she was going to do with all these, all the types of trash and make like fish and animals and I thought it was really cool. The cool thing is I was also able to incorporate my welding, my metal work, as the structure which is what you see right here and just move it like that. And what you want to do, you have to kind of keep it moving and bend it a little bit because you don't want to get an angle in there that's not a smooth angle because these rods are supposed to represent um, waves. She's so artistic and seeing everything kind of come to life has been really fascinating. Most of the trash and debris like that tire over there is going to be attached at the bottom. Water bottles are going to create the water for the sculpture. The debris evolves upward in the shape of waves embedded in marine life, include a large rockfish as a main element of the sculpture's highest point. The rockfish is struggling to breach the waves because it is entangled in monofilament. Because we pick a lot of that up off the beaches and we've heard that that's the kind of damage that um, this garbage is um, doing to our marine life. We find a lot of animals, you know, um, sea turtles in that, wrapped up and tangled up in monofilament and um, other plastics. She's actually, she's created um, blue crabs and um, there's uh, stingrays and all kinds of creatures out of things that I would never expect to look like that. And she um, she has a blowtorch and she she puts it on the plastic and it's like magical. It, it makes it come alive and it takes shape. So I kind of experimented at first with it and threaded them together, but they still didn't look realistic. Um, and then I just happily discovered that if I torched them, like this one looks more like a real, um, a real, what am I saying? Not starfish, jellyfish. Jellyfish, jellyfish. Jellyfish, yeah. jellyfish. So this, this is being built in three sections so that we can move it because we're going to display it throughout the Queen Anne's County school system. Our sculpture will start its tour throughout the Queen Anne's County public schools on Monday, October the 8th and will conclude on March 1st, 2019 eight elementary schools, four middle schools, and two of our high schools. And we figured the, the best thing about that is catch people when they're young, yeah. and you make an impression on them, and they will grow up and be more responsible mm -hmm. when they're adults about what they do with their plastics. A lot of people think there's not that much trash on these beaches here, but there's a lot of small plastics and microplastics. Probably more than even the fact that this is about environmental awareness, like awareness in general of just as people we have to be conscious of our decisions and the um, things that we're doing because it affects everything around us like we talk about the small footprint thing where it's like we don't really think what we're doing is making a huge effect on everyday life but it really is and i think the showcase of all these like small types of trash and what we actually do collect will will be eye-opening to a lot of people I think that not just environmentally, but socially and everything else, just everything that we do, like um, it's so easy to do something that can change everything. So do your part and even something little can really help. So I think it's important to send that message to everyone, especially the youth in our community. Last year, I wasn't an intern, but I came to most of the cleanups and I realized like how like 
great it was to be a part of it. So here we are now, ready to present this incredible piece of artwork to all of you and to our community and to our youth. We haven't practiced this, by the way. <laughs> this is never as graceful as you want it to be. Uh, just, drop, just drop it. Just How many items? Oh um, that's a good question. I didn't count them up. But if you walk around it, so these are a couple things that um, you probably wouldn't know. Yes. The the uh, crabs here, for example, were cut out of the side of a antifreeze bottle, and then the claws are made out of shotgun shell casings. The starfish is carved out of compressed styrofoam that we found on the beach, and you'll note if you look close, it's covered with cigarette butts that we also found. It was hot. It was fun, though. I think the, the, the coolest part for me is, is like Kristen read, the 22 people that came out to help, you know, everybody just kind of embraced this project. And, and I felt badly. I couldn't even accommodate all the people that wanted to come out and help because it was, it was complicated to try to arrange my schedule and their schedule and get everybody out there. And, and I know that there were a lot of other people that really wanted to get out and didn't get a chance to get out. That's a lot. Cheers. 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 Cheers.